Hey, check it out, it's Adam here, and today we're talking about getting to yes. Yes, this book is about negotiation. It's by Roger Fisher and William Uri. I thought it was one of the better books on negotiation that I've ever read. Uh, basically, four elements of negotiation. We're talking about people. Separate the people from the problem. Don't make it personal. Uh, interests, think of interests. What are people finding of value, not necessarily their position of yes or no. Um, options, invent options, be creative, problem solve. And finally, criteria, insist that your criteria that you're judging results be based on some sort of objective standard. So what does that all mean? Well, it means lots of things, but in general, what I really liked about uh, getting to the S is they talk about that people generally assume that it's the differences between people that cause problems in negotiation. In fact, it's the differences between you that helps you find unique solutions. So switching that mindset when you start is gonna help you in negotiation. Um, we talk about emotions, right? People get emotional when they talk about negotiations. Negotiations fall apart because people get mad at each other. They yell at each other, they get insulted or whatever. So just understand what's driving those emotions. People are looking for autonomy, appreciation, affiliation, their role, their status. What is it they are looking for here and what are their trigger points? So you're kind of profiling the person you're negotiating a little bit with. Um, there's something pretty cool here called cognitive dissonance. So people dislike in inconsistencies or uncertainty. So if you support the other person by attacking the problem, they will be tempted to disassociate themselves and their position on the problem and join you in solving the problem. So in other words, if I'm being curious and thoughtful and kind of out loud trying to solve a problem, people can't help themselves. They will try and solve it with you. And therefore you're working together on a problem you're not fighting me against you. Um, the other few things to keep in mind that I thought was really cool is you wanna make decisions easy. So two things to keep in mind. It is easier to not do something than to stop something underway, okay? So it's easier for someone to say, no, I don't wanna do that, it's already started. And the second thing is it is easier to cease to do something than to undertake an entirely new course of action, right? So kind of understand it's easiest to not do something, in the middle is to stop doing something, and at the end is to start doing something new. So kind of figure out where you're gonna get your win and where the easiest uh, line is there. Uh, we talk about a BATNA, uh, best alternative to a negotiated agreement. Know what your BATNA is growing, going in. The stronger your BATNA, the stronger your position. In other words, I can walk away, right? Whether that's a job or a deal or whatever. If I walk in with no BATNA, this is like my one shot then negotiation is probably not gonna go in my favor because I won't be willing to walk away. So know your bat wire, your BATNA. Uh, dovetailing, ultimately, a big win for you is looking for an item that is of low cost to you but of huge value to the other person. That is a win. And then you can just give that to them <laughs> for free or whatever. Uh, so look for that kind of stuff. Uh, be aware of tricky tactics. There are tactics in negotiation to try and move things along and, and incur stress into the game. These could be loud noises, hot temperature, um, time. I have to leave in 15 minutes, so we need to agree. agree. So like they try and increase the, the, the pressure cooker, personal attacks, right? Insulting you, getting your emotions riled up so that you can't think clearly. Uh, the classic good cop, bad cop. Um, and then uh, of course, threats. If you don't do this, all of that. So there you go. Ultimately, if we're gonna sum all that up and you're gonna take one thing, one thing away from getting to yes, it is that think of your differences as a unique ability to solve a problem together and disassociate yourselves from uh, your personal positions, whether it's not yes or no, it's what we can do. So there you go, hope you enjoy it. Check out getting to yes if you wanna know more and go into more detail, but hope that helped.